L'esperienza ne ha da vendere, ha un ottimo ricordo del nostro campionato e vuole dimostrare ancora una volta di saper stare ad alti livelli in Europa. Io sono Alessandra Tropiano e questo è Nice to Meet con Giacomo Pullen. Napoli with Jack and Pullen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I want to see, I want to let you tell me the first impression about both the city but also the new team. It's Naples, you know, it's one of the best places in Italy to live in. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. Like I said, by the seaside, everything is is great. You know, I can't really complain, especially all of the places I've been in Italy. This is by far one of the, the better cities that I could have lived in, that I can live in. So. I'm excited to be here. Okay, how it feels to be back after a long time? Ooh, it feels like it's been forever, but you know, <laughs> it feels great. You know, the, the league has gotten so much better, so much more marketable, so much more publicity. You know, the basketball's gotten better, the teams mm -hmm. have gotten better. It's teams that was playing second division last time that I was in Italy, mm -hmm. and now they're competing at the first division at a, at a high rate. So I'm excited to be back and excited to help Naples, you know, achieve some goals that we got. Okay, let's talk about the league. Uh, what direction is taking basketball, Italian basketball, you think? I think it's going in a great direction. I think, you know, every year the league gets better. Every year the league is more competitive and you see more teams competing in different uh, European competitions from Euro Cup to Basketball Champions League. The Italian league is represented well in all of those leagues. So I think as long as that continues to, to go in the upward, upward way, the Italian league will continue to get better. So you travel the world, you had different experience in different teams. Is there a place you felt like home? Uh, actually, you know, my first, my first time in Brindisi was, mm -hmm. it was amazing. You know, it was, I had a lot of uh, great teammates there. You know, we got along really well. We spent a lot of time together. Uh, the coach and staff uh, was great. You know, Brindisi being a small town was just perfect for me at that time. Just having my first daughter, it just really made life easier for me in a small community. Mm -hmm. I was happy to be there. Okay, you said last season for you was like too easy. So what is your goal for this season? You know, to compete. You know, just mm -hmm. to, to get back to playing good basketball and and just really make a name in Naples for a team that's, that's competing to make the playoffs and, and be a really solid basketball team. Italian players, Italian fans, uh, should expect a new version of you because you came here after so many, so many years. Yeah, I'm, I'm different now. I'm older. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm not the same kid that I was when I was 25 last time I think I played in the Italian League. I think you know, now I'm, I'm more polished. I, I know what I'm looking for and I know what my job is. So hopefully you don't see me as many minutes as you used to see me. 25 minutes to 30 minutes at max. Not like when I was younger, 35 to 40. So that should be the biggest difference. So you spent so many years playing basketball. What is the biggest thing, the most important thing this sport gave to you, to your life? Uh, I would say traveling the world. You know, I've been able to see the world, see so many different countries, so many beautiful cities. I've been blessed, you know, from Jerusalem to Barcelona to Bologna. You know, I've seen places that a lot of people dream about seeing. So I'm blessed with that. And it's also just giving me a, a perspective of life. You know, you see different cultures, you see different families, you see different people, and it just it gives you perspective that everybody's similar. You know, no matter the skin color, no matter the the way you, your language or the food you eat, everybody is very similar in a lot of ways. Okay, so now let's jump to the future. I don't know if you already think about it, but when you will finish your career, you maybe imagine to, to stay again in basketball, maybe doing something different or to quit? <laughs> Uh, that's a million dollar question, you know, uh, sometimes I think about staying close and coaching and stuff like that and sometimes I think about just walking away and being a stay at home dad, but you know, I, I really don't, don't want to make a choice or decision until that time comes. I try not to think about it because it gets closer than I, the more I think about it. So as of now, I'm just a basketball player and when that time comes, I'll think about what I'm going to do after. Okay, we'll see. Thank you so much. Man. No problem.